What's up everybody, Ether from EDB Fly Tying. So in today's video we're going to be tying a my version of a Zonger. This is uh, with the rabbit that I got um, I think last week and I've tanned the hide and now I'm uh, using the Zonger strips out of it which are ma making amazing flies. So anyways, this is an amazing fly. It performs really well and it's really good for big trout and small streams and lakes when they're really active during morning and evening. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the tie, tying part, and we'll stay tuned. I hope you guys will enjoy. Alrighty guys, and we're going to get down to the tying now. So, what I have in the vise is a size 10 Mustad streamer hook. I have um, uni thread, 72 denier in black. I have, obviously, the zonger strip. I have some gold wire. I have this cool uh, tinsel looking stuff, I forgot what it's called, wire cutters, and my fine tip scissors. So, first thing we are going to do, we're going to wrap the wire on here. If I had some lead wire, I would use, but I don't at the moment. So this is going to be our weight for the fly. Okay. But uh, at least 15 turns, at least. That'll give it enough weight to uh, bring it down in the water column. Okay, now bring it all the way up, almost to the head of the fly. You want to leave a little bit of a gap. This will create a good tie-in point and will kind of even out the fly's weight. So it's going to tie it right behind the wire wraps. Going to grab our scissors, fine tip scissors. Trim that off. What the heck? Alrighty, now we got the wire tied in. I'm just gonna make a little thread dam right at the base of it. I'm just gonna trim off the excess. Now it's gonna wrap through the wire wraps all the way up to the end of the wire in the front. Give a little thread dam there. Now we're done with the wire part. Now we're just gonna wrap all the way up to the start of the bend of the hook. Now, I am actually going to need another piece of zonger, or a piece of the rabbit. I have a whole bag of it. I just used another bag that was from my other materials that I don't use as for bags. So here's a piece of the of a zonger strip. I'm going to grab a little bit, little clump. Just going to trim that off, like so. And that is going to be our tail. And rabbit furs, I find that they are very, um, very movable, almost like marabou. It's like really, really soft stuff that really uh, makes a lot of action in the water. Which is one of the reasons why I'm pretty sure that it works so good for trout. Which is one of my favorite patterns. Okay. So now the next step, we're going to be grabbing this silvery tinsel looking chenille stuff. Just gonna grab, uh, I would say about eight inches of that stuff, maybe ten. I don't know. And then tie that in as well. Now we're gonna be tying in um, some wire for ribbing. I'm gonna tie a little bit off. There we go. I'm gonna bind that down, and then just wrap both things all the way up. Okay, now we're just gonna. Now, what I like to do, I like to keep the thread at the base, and I find that this will make it a a better looking body for the tinsel, chenille stuff, whatever it is. Okay, now we got this tied in. I'm just gonna bring our thread all the way up to the end of the wire wraps, like so. Now we're going to take our chenille stuff, and we're going to start wrapping.
Okay, there we go. Just gonna tie that in. A couple of nice wraps. Snip off the access. Now the next step, what I like to do, is after the wire, when we tie that in, I like to wiggle that just through the chenille stuff. Then this way it won't trap as many fibers. And then after you can go into it with a bobkin or your finger and just try pit picking some of the fibers out. Okay, now we're gonna just helicopter the wire off. Like so. Now the next step we're gonna put our thread all the way back to the tail. And it's hard to see where the thread was, so which is a good thing. So we're gonna grab our rabbit zonger strip here. So we're gonna measure so this would be the head head tie in. And then right here would be the end. So we just pull the fibers into like a V. And in between that will be our tie-in point for the back. Just quickly capture that with a couple tight turns. Pull back a little bit. Needs to hit the head. Like so. Now we're going to take it and then just going to quickly do some wraps all the way back to the head. And then we tie the zonger strip in like so. Then bring a little neat looking head. Try not to capture too many fibers. And if you do, just come in with your scissors and just cut some off. Really, really simple. Like so. Man, that looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna just make a nice head like so. And then we're gonna do at least a five six turn with finish and then two more at the end. Seat the knot and then two more at the end. And there you go. That is my version of a zonger. It's a cool pattern and it moves incredibly well in the water. And it has caught me a lot of uh, big trout that I haven't used when I use um, nymph rigs or smaller flies. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video. And if you haven't, subscribe to the new YouTube channel. Stay tuned, and I hope, you, hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.